Hi there, I'm Marisa and welcome to Marisa Home. Today we're going to deep fry a turkey. Um, you know, you see all those fail videos online and it makes you maybe a little bit nervous to try it, but we've been deep frying a turkey for about the last five years and going forward, we can never do Thanksgiving without a deep fried turkey. So we'll go over the equipment that you need, how to measure out for oil, and of course, frying the turkey, um, which it comes out moist and good every single time. So hopefully what we will share with you guys today will show that it's not that scary. So have fun. can't fry a turkey without the proper equipment, so we're going to cover that first. The first thing you need is going to be a 32 quart pot. Pretty standard size, fits most turkeys. This kit comes with a thermometer, that's very important. We need to monitor the fry uh, between right around the 350 degree Fahrenheit range. So we need to know <laughs> what that oil looks like throughout. We have a hook here that makes it really easy to take the spick in and out of the pot. That's uh, for safety first, you know, to make sure that we are not touching the turkey directly or the spick directly, right? And next up we have the propane. This is our heat source. This is what's going to make the fry happen. We highly suggest that you have a propane take with the gauge. The fry is long. It takes about 40 minutes or so to heat up the oil and another 40 minutes or so to fry the turkey. So having a gauge is key because we easily go through a quarter of the propane quick. And then of course, here's a torch so we can actually light the uh, the flame. And we have a stand, really important. It's the stand for the flame. <laughs> it keeps it safe and off the floor and we can cook this turkey. And here's the oil. You're going to need anywhere about five to six gallons of oil. We use peanut oil. It has a high smoking point of 450 degrees, which we know is gonna be okay when we're trying to fry the whole time at 350 degrees. Um, so choose your oil wisely. You'll need a mitt, that's for safety, you know, cause it's gonna be hot. And when you're done with the fry, we like to save the oil as much as we can. So we have a funnel here. And then this basket is a steam basket. It comes with the kit. Pretty cool. You can do like a seafood or, or a crab boil. So there you go. Those are the basic essentials that you're going to need to fry a turkey. Now let's prepare the turkey so we can actually figure out how much oil we're going to need. So take the turkey out of its packaging and look for the neck. There you go, maybe save that later for a turkey stock. <laughs> and you're going to want to look for the heart, the liver, and the kidneys. Just, you know, search around the bird, make sure that you can find it, because we definitely don't want to fry that. At least we don't, but you can if you want to, I guess. <laughs> so you can leave them in there. And the other thing that we're looking for is a plastic hook. Some fresh turkeys have a plastic hook in there. And so we wanna make sure that that's removed if it is in fact there, but we don't see one in here. So we should be good to go. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and cut off this neck bone because we don't need that. It'll just be in the way when we try to put the turkey on the spick. All right, looking good. Put the turkey on the spick. There you go. And we'll get the pot out so we can do displacement and find out how much oil we need. So here we go, we're lowering the turkey into the pot. Turkey's cold, so we're gonna want to put in cold water 
we don't want to cook the turkey too early. <laughs> so go ahead and just, you know, run the water until it is full. You're going to want to come about half an inch above the turkey. When the water starts to get to the top of the turkey, go ahead and move the turkey a bit so any air pockets get filled with water because we want to make sure we have the right amount of oil. Now we can pull the turkey out slowly, allow the water to drain so we have a, the exact amount of water that we need to then measure for oil. Dry off a portion of the pot and place a sticky note or tape at the top of the water line. This will allow us to then measure how much water we used and therefore how much oil we will need. Now that the pot is empty, let's measure from the bottom of the pot to the bottom of, in our case, the sticky note. There are two reasons for doing this. One, if you already have oil, and let's say that you're not going to fry right then and there, we need to clean the pot. So we measure to know where we need to replace the sticky note later. Second one is, if this is your first fry, you need to calculate volume, which is pi radius squared times height. Now that we know how much oil we need, we can prepare the bird. We are doing a dry rub that we're gonna fry right afterwards, but we like to have the spices on for as long as possible. So if you wanna prepare the day before or do a brine, then all the reason why you need to know the measurement of the oil. <laughs> now that the turkey is ready, we'll get the spick out, put the turkey head down. We like to let our turkey be free but if you want to tie your turkey, this is the time to do it. And we'll go ahead and get this ready to be fried. So let's move on to setting up our fry station. Always be in a safe environment. We always set up outdoors or we've done it in a garage, but with as much space as possible with nothing around us. If you cleaned your pot, remeasure from the bottom of the pot to the height that you recorded from measuring the displacement. Pour the oil into the pot while on a flat, solid surface. If you pour oil into the pot while the pot is on the stand, uh, the shifting of the weight of the oil could cause the oil to spill over. If you are reusing your oil, you can reuse oil three to four times or until your oil is dark and maybe has a bit too much sediment. Pour in as much as you can without adding any sediment. Let's light this puppy up. So take the hose from the stand and attach it to the propane. Open up the propane just a bit and take your torch. Don't want the flame too high but you do want some gas there. Take the torch, make sure you're safe. Turn down the gas so it is safe for you to put the pot onto the stand. Now that that's set, we wanna make sure that there's enough room between the propane and the flame. Just another safety precaution. You have that five feet of rope, so go for it. And then we are gonna bring the flame back up and take our thermometer and put it in the pot and wait for about 30 minutes or so to bring it up to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. That's what we're looking for when doing this fry. Once we've reached 350 degrees Fahrenheit, we're ready to put the turkey in. So you're gonna turn off the gas completely can't burn your house down if there's no ignition source. Grab the turkey with the hook and slowly lower it into the oil. Do not plop in the cold turkey into hot oil. You're asking for a disaster. So take your time. Once the turkey is fully submerged, allow it to settle for a minute or two before lighting the flame again.
Let's get this lit again. So turn on the gas, take your torch and light the stand. Adjust the gas as needed. The temperature of the oil will dip down to about 300 to 325 and that's okay. Try to keep it consistent and allow the turkey to cook for about three and a half minutes per pound. We're frying a 10 pound turkey, so this one will cook for about 35 minutes. Adjust the gas as needed and keep an eye on that temperature because you wanna keep it consistent. Let's see if this turkey is ready. So turn off the flame, have your mitt on, take out the thermometer and have a plate nearby. Grab your hook and slowly take the turkey out you want to allow the oil to drain. We're going to check the temperature of the turkey next. We want the initial temperature to read between 150 to 160 degrees Fahrenheit. The turkey will rest for 20, about 20 minutes and will then be ready to serve when it hits the internal temperature of 165. If you haven't hit the 150 to 160 degree Fahrenheit range, put the turkey back in the oil for about another five minutes or so until the temperature reads that 150 to 160 range. Once you have hit your gold temperature, allow the turkey to rest covered. We cover with foil, but covered for about 20 minutes or until ready to serve. It is important not to carve right away you will lose the moisture and the turkey will be dry. All right, turkey is ready. So let's take it off the spick. We'll show you the easiest way that we've come across. Let's take the hook, place the turkey on its belly, and then take some tongs and yeah, just take the spick out. There you go. We can cut this turkey up and serve it moist and juicy and just the perfect turkey every single time. So I highly recommend that you guys try this out. It is so good. And we did it in a super safe way. But our job's not over, so let's talk about cleanup. Step one is to make sure the propane is put away right away. The lid is on the pot and no one or thing can disturb the oil. You will need to allow the oil to cool until it has come back to room temperature. For us, that's usually overnight. We recommend having a measuring cup or some other device to help scoop out a bit of the oil until it's comfortable to lift because it can be a bit heavy. But once your oil has come to room temperature, have your oil container ready with a funnel and a strainer. The strainer will catch any tidbits in the oil, leaving the remaining oil clean and ready to use another time. Last inch of oil is usually pretty murky and we just discard that last bit. So put the residue oil into a recyclable container and take it to your local hazardous waste recycling center. The clean oil you can store and use for your next fry, just store it in a place that is dark and cool. So there you go, a safe not scary rendition of how to fry a turkey. Have fun! <laughs>